Hey, Pops, keep that beat a beat. I feel a rhythmic brainstorm coming on. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hardest classic Hollywood dances to pull off. Will you try? If you show me. I'll show you. I'll try. For this list, we'll be looking at solo, two-person, and group numbers that require serious skill to perform. Which dance made you fall on your face the first time you tried it? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Make em Laugh, Singing in the Rain Do not try this one at home. You start off by pretending you're a dancer with grace. You wiggle till they're giggling all over the place. And then you get a great big custard pie in the face. Make em laugh, make em laugh, make em laugh! Donald O'Connor grew up in vaudeville, started dancing as a toddler, and continued performing into his 70s. In this routine, his character, Cosmo, tries to cheer up his friend Don, played by Gene Kelly, who is pining after a woman. Just slip on a banana peel, the world's at your feet. Make him laugh, make him laugh, make him laugh! O'Connor had plenty of chances to show off his dancing skills throughout his career, but his comedic chops and acrobatic abilities truly shine in this wild number. He and the crew managed to shoot the performance in a single day, and afterward, O'Connor's whole body was in pain. When he returned to the studio two days later, he discovered the original film had been ruined, and he had to do the entire thing again. Number 9. Why Can't You Behave? Kiss Me Kate Just as you should. Ann Miller and Tommy Rawl were both well known on the 1950s musical scene, and what starts as Miller's Lois bemoaning the gambling habits of Rawl's Bill Calhoun becomes a shining example of both their talents in action. Truly, this scene takes the idea of a lover's spat to new heights. The flirtatious energy of the couple adds extra charm to a number that gives each dancer an opportunity to show off. Rawl, in particular, impresses here. Not only can he keep up with Miller's signature lightning-fast feet, but he ups the ante with his own enviable acrobatic abilities. The two are so well-matched that it's no wonder she can't stay mad at him. Number 8. Jerry and Gene, Anchors Away In this fantasy sequence, Gene Kelly teaches a young king how to find happiness. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. You see? It's easy! The star has to dance and act alongside a cartoon character who isn't actually there, more than 40 years before Who Framed Roger Rabbit came out. Coupled with some insanely athletic jumps and spins, only a dancer of Kelly's caliber could pull off this performance. It's so memorable that show tune aficionado Seth MacFarlane saw fit to parody the scene in an episode of Family Guy, with Stewie subbing in for Jerry the Mouse. They do say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Number 7. Cheek to Cheek – Top Hat Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire danced together many times throughout the 1930s and 40s, but this romantic duet is one of their most beloved for good reason. And I seem to find the happiness I see. When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek. The scene starts out with a simple slow dance. It then transitions to a series of more complex synchronized moves that represent the complicated feelings the characters are developing for each other. Yeah. 
The grace and fluidity in the performance is gorgeous. Even if you're talented enough to pull it off, you still have to find a partner who can keep up. And remember, one of you has to do everything backward and in heels. Number 6. Too Darn Hot – Kiss Me Kate Showgirl Lois Lane rolls in like a heat wave to audition for a role in Fred Graham and Cole Porter's new show, and the temperature only goes up once her feet get moving. Ann Miller was known for her crazy fast tap dancing, and this is one of the finest examples of what she could really do. She leaves no corner of the screen unscorched as she ranges around the set with effortless ease. Meanwhile, a rhythmic section of the piece really allows the audience to appreciate her speed and clarity. In a movie filled with strong performances, this number is a highlight, and one that few people would be able to replicate even half as well. Needless to say, Lois gets the part. Delightful. Gee, thanks, honey. How was I, Mr. Porter? Wonderful. Number 5. Begin the Begin, Broadway Melody of 1940 Although they were two of the most popular dancers in Hollywood throughout the 1930s, this is the only movie that Eleanor Powell and Fred Astaire danced in together. And while they share the stage several times throughout, this climactic scene features the most intense and intricate choreography. These are two masters of rhythm, playing with synchronization and syncopation like they're composing a piece of music. Powell and Astaire are so perfectly matched in terms of talent that they often seem to be generating a single sound. Even in alternation, it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. Their smooth footwork and easy demeanors could almost fool you into thinking this comes easily. But no one is likely to ever match these titans of tap. Number 4. The Lindy Hop – Hell's a Poppin' This thing might turn into something. I'm mistaken, here comes something now. You might think this footage has been sped up, but it hasn't. They're really moving that fast. Whitey's Lindy Hoppers were a group of professional swing dancers who came out of the Harlem Renaissance. During their heyday, the group toured Europe and the U.S. and appeared in multiple films. In this scene, some delivery men are dropping off a set of instruments and can't resist testing them out. One, two, keep that rhythm heat. One more rhythm like that and I'll be gone. Other service workers around the property hear them, and soon the party gets going. The Lindy Hop remains a popular type of swing today and its influence can be seen all over Hollywood. <laughs> Number 3. Barn Dance – Seven Brides for Seven Brothers These rugged young men have come down from their mountain home to go a-courtin' with the help of their new sister-in-law, Millie. At the barn dance, this quickly turns into a competition with the men of town to impress a group of eligible young ladies. High-energy dance moves, acrobatics, and feats of strength all play a role in this jubilant scene. Tommy Rawl makes another appearance and gets to show off his incredible balance and coordination yet again. But of course, with brothers like Jacques D'Amboise and Rust Hamblin, it seems like just another family trait. The town suitors really stood no chance here. The girls and the audience alike are swept off their feet by this decisive display of dance. Number 2. 
Number 2. I Like Myself – It's Always Fair Weather Gene Kelly had so many iconic performances in his career, it's hard not to put them all on our list. This has been a most unusual day. Love has made me see things in a different way. His character Ted's life hasn't gone the way he thought it would, but when a beautiful and successful young woman falls for him, he realizes he might not be such a bad guy after all. My love has got me riding high. She likes me so, so do I. His feelings inspire this song and tap performance, which Kelly incredibly performs on roller skates. Although it's not his most recognizable dance, it's definitely one of his most challenging. It seems like there was nothing this star couldn't do. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jump and Jive – Stormy Weather From the moment their tap shoes hit the stage, they're doing moves that most of us could only dream of attempting. And it just gets wilder from there. Born in 1914 and 1921, respectively, Bayard and Harold Nicholas were entirely self-taught in the arts of singing and dancing. They started performing professionally as children and proved well into their 60s and 70s that they were still superstars on the dance floor. The Nicholas brothers might have been the greatest tap dancers of all time, and this dance break is one of the most impressive ever put to film. with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.